The book of Revelation says in chapter 17 and verses 1 through 5, And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. First off, we have a pure woman, and here we see a harlot, or in other words, a corrupt woman. Are we talking about a literal whore here who sits on many waters, or does it mean something else? Well, you see, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6 and verse 2, tells us, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Who is the daughter of Zion? He's referring to Jerusalem or God's people. So he has likened God's people or his church to a comely and delicate woman. So here we see a woman representing a church. And in this case, in Revelation, we are looking at a great whore. So this would mean a corrupt church. And according to Revelation 17 and verse 15, And saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. So this corrupt church is sitting on multitudes of people, nations, and tongues. And the kings of the earth are having fornication with this church. They are having illicit relationships with this church. A church should never be involved in the affairs of the world. But also notice the kings of the earth drink the wine of her fornication. Brothers and sisters, there are two types of wine. There's fermented and unfermented wine, the new wine and the old wine. There is a difference. It's unfortunate that majority of the Christian population doesn't know this. They see wine in the Bible in a good manner and use that to justify drinking alcohol. But you see, that is referring to the new wine. But here, this is coming from a corrupt church, which means it's fermented wine or the old wine, and in this case, it is referring to the false doctrines of this church. So we see the world leaders being drunk with the false doctrines of this church. And it's safe to say that it's the church in this case that corrupts the world when you think it would be the other way around, but it's not. Are you getting an idea of what church this is yet? Let's continue on. This woman is riding on a scarlet colored beast. Surely you have figured it out that it is not a literal beast by now. And if you have figured that out, then my friend, you are correct. Let's go to the book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 23. Thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. So we have a church sitting on multitudes of people and also a kingdom who commits fornication with the kings of the earth and gets them drunk with her false doctrines. This woman also commits blasphemy. And the Bible definition of blasphemy, it means in place of. She claims to be God on earth. And this beast have, has seven heads and ten horns. The book of Revelation chapter 17 and verse 9 says this, Thus he said, and here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And then jump down to verse 12. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. The seven heads are seven mountains, and the ten horns are ten kings. Have you figured it out yet? Friends, you know... What city was founded on seven hills? Do you know which church goes out to all these kings and nations and push their agendas? This harlot is none other than the Roman Catholic Church. This church is the only church that has its own city, the Vatican. The Pope claims to be God on earth. 
He claims to have the power to forgive sins. It's blasphemous. And hold up, there's more. This woman is decked out with purple and scarlet colors and in gold precious stones and pearls and drinks from a golden cup full of abominations and filthiness. Listen, the bishops wear purple and the cardinals wear scarlet. And this church is full of gold, stones, and pearls. I mean, the Vatican is gorgeous. And their communion service, they drink from that golden cup and use fermented wine and claim it is the blood of Christ. Abominations and filthiness it is indeed. I chuckled when some Christians claimed that this was referring to Kamala Harris by the way she dressed at Biden's inauguration because they have no idea. Friends, there was no doubt that this harlot is none other than the papacy. God points his divine finger right at this church and calls her mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. This isn't an attack on the Catholic people. It's a system of worship that is wrong. People have no idea what their hierarchy, hierarchy does. They keep the truth from the people, but in reality they are full of pedophiles and puppets of the devil himself. Jesus is coming soon to rid the world of this woman for good. So get ready. This is John Tinsley with Everlasting Rock Ministries. And always remember, the truth never fails. God bless you.